How's it going guys? Bring your platoon here and welcome back to another great game in World of the Tanks Xbox One Edition post update 6.0 and today I'm going to be in the Bone Shaker aka the TS5, the tier 8 American Premium Tank Destroyer. This thing has a 120mm gun on it and you could could have gotten it with getting the season pass for the WWE watcha call it a few months ago before it was you know 6.0. Uh, 120 millimeter gun. You do 258 millimeters of pen for the standard AP rounds that you get, dealing 400 damage on average per penetration. Same thing with heat, except for your heat penetration, it is 300 millimeters of pen, and then you get HE, which is 60 millimeters of pen, but you deal 515 on average instead of 400. Dispersion at 100 meters is 0.44. It's very ass. Be sure to increase your accuracy with everything you can, otherwise you're gonna miss a lot of shots and struggle with that. Aim time is great though at 1.8 seconds, so that's phenomenal. But again, make sure you help yourself to all the accuracy perks as well as Brothers in Arms and the consumables for the tank just to make it work a lot better. Base, B yeah, base DPM, at least on tanks.gg, is 2950. So that's pretty crazy. It's got a terrible top speed of 26 kilometers an hour, but you know that because the T28 plays very similarly to this vehicle. Re top reverse speed is 12 kilometers an hour, also not the worst, also not the best. 1500 health, uh, ba 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 ba. You get a whole whopping five degrees of gun depression for this American TD. Yeah, very weird, very terrible. 20 degrees of gun elevation. It's got a view range of 370 meters. You got a fire chance of 20%. One in five shots into the engine will set you on fire. 1500 health. I already said that. Moving on. Uh, I think that's about it for the gun. Your tank traverse is. Hmm. Effective traverse. On a hard. It, it, it's not great. Just use your consumable when you want to turn really quickly when people aren't trying to encircle you, and you'll do fine. Uh, as far as the armor goes, it's slightly more armored than the T28 from the for the upper plate, but in the lower plate, it's slightly less armored because it is 235 to 240 millimeters of uh, protection in the lower plate without any angle, and then you get 270 to 280 millimeters of protection in the front of your tank. Again, no angle, and then you have a hatch that they can pen very easily with standard. Uh, pen of vehicles in your own tier because all they need is 200 millimeters to pen that so tier 9 and tier 10 vehicles will butter you with premium rounds and if you want to try and hide your lower plate weakness a little bit from similarly tiered vehicles then feel free to dip your tank a little bit forward making that around 300 to two well 290 to 300 millimeters of effective armor but then they can just again uh, hit your roof which is only 38.1 millimeters thick and overmatch that with gun calibers that can do that or they can just aim slightly above your mantlet and pen it for 200 millimeters of protection so that's cool or your hatch doesn't really matter what they shoot at but they have good chances to go through both if they're aiming but mm, yeah basically if they load premium your sol there's not a lot you can do to prevent damage and a lot of playing this vehicle is the same as other slow vehicles like the T-28, very similarly. I don't know how the fuck that one doesn't manage to go in, but thanks, game. Appreciate that uh, shit out of luck shot, RNG. Appreciate everything you do for me. And then just the critical hit damage, really? Ooh, that's the rage showing. Better uh, cool off a little bit. Okay, we're fine. He's fine, he's ammo wrecked, I'm safe. I've got on the advanced concealment for this thing, as well as optics as well as a gun rammer, the outline thing, and what else do I have? I think the aiming speed? Optics, gun rammer, outline thing, and I, I don't know what else I have on this thing. Oh, the advanced concealment. I'm an idiot. But yeah, that's all the equipment I have in this tank. Try and keep this thing also hidden as possible, but I found that sniping with it wasn't really good for getting damage. This is definitely not a game you're going to get every other game. And even doing that much damage, it's not enough to get an ace tanker. So fuck you, game. I deserve that ace for this game. <sighs> but 
the biggest struggle I have in this thing is getting in the action soon. Or with enough time to get damage. And if I'm not over-aggressive, I'm under-aggressive, and I don't get damage because I die, or I don't get damage because I didn't push up like I was supposed to. Just pay attention to the map. Go with your support. Definitely don't isolate yourself unless you're literally up against a wall and no one can get behind you. And if it's anything more than 1v1, just be prepared to get, you know, shit on in your sides and your ass. That's the game. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.